we're coming up on the Madison Station. Right across from a hall, something hall. They have a little Christmas decoration set up. Let's see how we can get in here. Beautiful station, isn't it? it? Looks like a church. Okay, let me park the car and we'll look at it some more. I try to take pictures and video at the same time. It is a port cochere here. And a little bit about the history. Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad. Frank Nice. Is there a way this is open today? Nope. Anyway, take a look. Ticket office down here. So there's several universities around here. It looks like a fair amount of people are going inbound here. It looks like a little handicapped accessible high level platform down here at the eastern end. And I'll take some more video when I can do it. Here comes a train into the station. I was going to say I was going to stop shooting video in order to uh, not get people on the shot. Look at the train coming in. One person down here using the high level platform. We're hoping to. But the train doesn't pull all the way down for them to be able to use it. So. Fortunately, they didn't need to have a high-level platform. Headed east to New York. Good timing. So, it, the station's mostly low level platforms. As you can see here. On the outbound side, they have their own little high level platform, mini high level platform there at the western end of the station. So the lights have come on as the sun has set on one of the shortest days of the year. So now we have the whole station to ourselves. Kind of reminds me of Bloomfield with all the concrete. Here's Frank Nice also designed Bloomfield. Which like Madison has a, a another station house on the outbound side. And I want to see if these two are connected by a tunnel. So take a look in the waiting room. 
so nicely lit. Looks like Morristown with the lamps. Home of Drew University. I also passed one and also home of Fairleigh Dickinson. So there's two schools here. And we saw a convent station. There was St. Elizabeth University. So there's three schools in this area. The roof looks in great shape. So I bet you you used to be able to drive up here. I mean, it's really in poor shape here, isn't it? It's too bad. There's that impressive Memorial Hall across the street. So this is all boarded up, literally. So yeah, you could drive up this uh, little roadway, looking back at this poor building that's fallen on hard times. You could drive in under this road, they don't tell you not to. This kind of reminds me of walking up the road to Edinburgh Castle in Scotland. So they don't really want you coming in here, but they don't prohibit it either. I mean, you used to be able to take these stairs and then go up the platform, so I don't know what they use this building for. But we'll take another quick look at Madison after we get back on the platform. So let me just see if there's a way to get over to the outbound side through a tunnel under the tracks. I see a staircase down from the waiting room. But is there another way? when the waiting room is not open. We will try to find out. The answer is yes, there is a tunnel that goes underneath, so let's take it. Walk through the port cochere. Ticket vending machines when the ticket office isn't open. the old-time design of the elevators. Yeah, so there's two stairways, and then you can take another staircase down. So the elevators will take you down to ground level. There's the post office right there. Part of the downtown. Not the main street of Madison, but one of the streets. So you can get sushi. Really an attractive station, Madison. Okay, here we are at Chatham. My last stop for this day.
of filming over on the outbound side. Looks like they just use this room for storage. I mean, station house is on the inbound side. And it looks like another Frank Nice design station. No one here right now. A little waiting room. So let's take the tunnel. Time is correct, 4.55 on December 19th, so that's why it's so dark at 4.55. Let's take this pedestrian tunnel under the tracks. sign is for telling people who want to go outbound to take this tunnel to the outbound side trains to Hackettstown so there's a fair amount of parking here I don't know what this school is over here let's take a look back at the station whether the roof is really red or if it's just the sunlight but I think it might be red let's take a look at the little waiting room here Open on weekdays. When my wife and I were first going out, I think it was this station where we came. Maybe it was the Madison station. I'm not sure where we sat on a bench and there was a statue of a man sitting on the bench. So I sat, and we all three sat together on the bench for a picture that a stranger took of us. So stations like this just make a person feel more significant, I think, when they're taking the train, as opposed to a place that's just a parking lot and a couple of guardrails and a bench maybe. There's some bike lockers here. And it's why people like to take the train as opposed to the bus for the same reason. Like it's more than just getting from A to B, it's how you do it. So this station does a good job of making you feel good about your mode of transportation. Here at Chatham.